Sitaram, ladies and gentlemen, at this time I humbly ask you to stand as we welcome into the hall our graduates of the class of 2024.
Sitaram everyone. Please remain standing for the opening prayer, the national anthem, and to be followed by the Mahasabha team song. The prayer is going to be led by three students of the graduating class, Sanaya Balkubin, Priyanka Balkaran, and Vishal Suku. So let us put our hands together and bow our heads in prayer. I'm 
मन में कभी मुख को नहीं मोरा सनातन धर्म की जय हो चोरों गरम अपने को भले ही प्राण तक जावे सनातन धर्म की जय हो ऋषि संतान होने को जुदा रखती हूँ न चोरो करम अपने को सनातन करम की जय हो ये बिन जी शाम करता है दो कर जोर कर भगवन संसार में स्वामी सनातन धर्म की जय हो सनातन धर्म इस द्वीप में उठाया है महा सब ने बरीस महाराज सनातन धर्म की जय हो सनातन धर्म इस द्वीप में उठाया है महा सब ने श्री सतनारायण महाराज की जय हो सनातन धर्म की जय हो कहो एक बार हे मित्रो सनातन धर्म की जय हो करो पर चार दुनिया में सनातन धर्म की जय हो सनातन धर्म की जय हो सनातन धर्म की you may have your seats everyone sit around everyone and a pleasant good morning to all it is my esteemed pleasure to welcome on stage this morning's chairperson mrs neela dial ramdas vice principal acting at the elorado south hindu school to take you through this morning's proceedings his holiness the dharmachar of the republic of trinidad and tobago pandit dr ramprasad parashram feature speaker mrs keshmini dani ram gosain principal gandhi memorial vedic primary school president general of the sanatan dharma mahasabha pandit krishna rambali and his dharm patni shrimati dinmati rambali Secretary General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha Sri Vijay Maharaj Pandit Dinesh Rambali executive member legal advisor of the SDMS and member of parliament of Shagwana's West constituency and his dharm patni Shrimati Candice Rambali representative of the Ministry of Education Mrs. Chandi Maraj, School Supervisor 1, St. George East Education District, and other super school supervisors, Manager of the Eldorado South Hindu School, Mr. Varun Pasad, Mr. Raj Jadu, former manager and executive member, and his Durham Patni, Mrs. Sati Jadu, 
president of the Parent Support Network of the El Dorado South Hindu School, Mrs. Roshini Maraj, principal of the El Dorado South Hindu School, Pandit Arish Maharaj, principals of neighboring schools, SEA awardees, national scholarship awardees, specially invited guests, parents of the graduating class of 2024, pupils of the graduating class of 2024, listening and viewing audiences of radio and TV Jagruti. Sitaram, Sitaram, one and all. It is with the warmest of sentiments that I, on behalf of the principal, Pandit Adish Maharaj, and the staff of the Eldorado South Hindu School welcome you to our annual graduation ceremony 2024. It is indeed an honor to perform this duty as chairperson at our graduation proceedings today. My dear graduands, at the Eldorado South Hindu School, graduation is the highlight and the high point of the years that you would have spent at this prestigious institution. And so, we place great importance and emphasis on this school event. Graduation represents the culmination of a journey and an attainment of a goal. It marks a milestone in life. And yes, it is a time to celebrate your academic achievement. For you, graduates, class of 2024, it is a culmination of your seven years of learning experiences, challenges, friendships, fun and laughter, sometimes tears, and countless memories at your school, the El Dorado South Hindu School. Now, research confirms that between the ages of two and seven, a child's brain, listen to this, absorbs more and will learn faster than any other time in their life, right? Between two and seven. So where were you at this time in your life? Graduates, where were you? At your school, yes? Your school, the Eldorado South Hindu School. And at the Eldorado South Hindu School, you were taught well, yes? And you would have built your foundation of knowledge and learning experiences for all that you are yet to learn in the future as you move on. And now, now you stand at a threshold ready to leave this phase of your primary school education and transition into another phase of your academic career. We are all here so very proud of you. Your parents, most of all, your teachers, and everyone who is present here today for you. Today is your day of glory and celebration. Today, the spotlight is on you because the world is yours to conquer. And that is the theme of our graduation. The world is yours to conquer, right? There are so many opportunities for you starting right now. For this, we must be so grateful because gratitude is a must, right? So we must be grateful. And so this morning, we started with our our morning's proceedings with prayer. And now we continue to show our gratitude with prayer. Prayer in the form of an invocation dance. So we pray, we sing, and we worship. We also show worship through dance. Right? That is how vast our religion is. So we show our worship through dance. And today, we have a very special dance item. And I will just read 
ultrasonopsis of what you'll be seeing now. So lighten up, right? Lighten up. Now we'll be seeing a lovely dance portrayal, Hum Kata Sunati, taken from the Uttar Ramayan, Lau and Kush lovingly narrates the story of the Ramayan Kata to Lord Rama and their elders. They graciously pay homage to the elders as they give a clear description of the events that unfolded in the Ramayan. As they carefully detailed the joyous occasion of Lord Rama's birth, and his conquests in Lanka. They passionately described their mother Sita and end the kata by telling Lord Rama that they are his sons. Now you all would have studied the Ramayan for Barikas, yes? So I'm sure you are familiar with Love and Kush. Yes. So today our dancers, our dancer, Mira Narain Narendranath, sorry, of the Hari Pasad and Sons, Nritya Sangam Dance Company. So, Mira will be sharing with us a special dance in worship. So, let us sit back and enjoy. Om Shri Mahaganadhipatay Namaha Om Shri Uma Maheshwarabhyam Namaha Valmi ki Guru Dev ke Pad Pankaj Sir Na हम पर हो मात पिता की वंदना करते गुरुजन राजा प्रजा जन नमन करो हम कथा सुनाते राम सकल गुण धाम की हम कथा सुनाते राम सकल गुण धाम की ये रामायण है पुण्य कथा श्री राम की ये रामायण है पुण्य कथा श्री राम की जम्बूद्वीते भरत खंडे आर्यावर्ते भारत वर्षे एक नगरी है विख्यात अयोध्या नाम की यही जन्म भूमि है परम पूज श्री राम की हम कथा सुनाते राम सकल गुण धाम की ये रामायण है पुण्य कथा श्री राम की ये रामायण है पुण्य कथा श्री राम की रघुकुल के राजा धर्मात्मा चक्रवर्ती दशरथ पुण्यात्मा संतति है तू यज्ञ करवाया धर्म यज्ञ का शुभ फल पाया नृप घर जन्मे चार कुमार रघुकुल दीप जगत आधारा चारों भ्रातों के शुभ नामा भरत शत्रु घन लक्ष्मण रामा हम कथा सुनाते राम सकल 
सकल गुण धाम की हम कथा सुनाते राम सकल गुण धाम की ये रामायण है पुण्य कथा श्री राम 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 की Let us hear a louder round of applause for that wonderful performance in prayer. Thank you very much. Good. It is important for us to understand and appreciate that the foundation, the smooth operation, and the success of our school rely on the efforts and the support of various stakeholders and agencies. Children. These individuals and agencies would have played an integral role in shaping the lives and minds of all of you, of all of us. Today, our speakers represent these stakeholders who are all here for you, the graduates, to celebrate you and to celebrate with you. They are all here to offer valuable words of advice and lifelong lessons. Their messages are full of experience and wisdom. Our first speaker today, Pandit, Mr. Adish Maharaj, our dynamic and illustrious principal, has always done his part as a administrator to steer and guide our school towards success and always seeking the best interest of you, all you beautiful students. He has always been proactive in his approach, keeping our school on top of its game at all times. I now invite Pandit Adish Maharaj to bring you the principal's address. A loud round of applause. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson, Ms. Nila Dial, Acting Vice Principal of the El Rado South Hindu School. Feature speaker, Mrs. Keshmani Daniram Gosain, Principal of Gandhi Memorial Vedic Primary School. Secretary General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Sri Vijay Maharaj. President General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Pandit Krishna Rambali, and his Dharampatni, Srimati Dinmati Rambali. Representative of the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Chande Maharaj, School Supervisor 1, St. George East Educational District. Other school supervisors in our audience, we have Mr. Roger Rosan, also School Supervisor 1, St. George East. Manager of the El Rada South Hindu School, Mr. Varun Pasad. President of our Parent Support Network, Mrs. Roshini Maharaj. Principals of neighboring schools, and I'm so happy to have with us today Mr. Mahindranath Maharaj, the principal of the El Dorado North Hindu School, and Mrs. Susan Ragunanan, the principal of Spring Village Hindu School. SC awardees, National Scholarship awardees, Specially invited guests, teachers, parents of the graduating class of 2024, pupils of the graduating class of 2024, the listening and viewing audiences of radio and TV Jagriti, Sitaram, everyone. I stand before you this morning with great pride and honor as the principal of this noble institution, the Daljit Musai El Dorado South Hindu School. The El Rado South Hindu School opened its doors in September of 1952 as one of the first six Mahasabha schools and has proudly served and continued to serve the El Dorado community and beyond for approximately 72 years. Students, you are now the 72nd group of students to have graced these walls and receive an education at this institution. 
you are a part of a long and successful journey. I entered the doors of this institution in September of 1995 as a teacher and have spent 15 years in this capacity, most of which I spent in Standard 5. I was then promoted to the principal of Arangues Hindu School for four years and returned to El Rado South Hindu School. It is, at a, it is at the Arangues Hindu School I would have met my good friend and mentor principal, Ms. Kishmani, as she was the principal of, my, of a school high up the road. I returned to El Rado South Hindu School in 2014 as the principal and have been serving since then to now. When I look back, I have spent over a quarter of a century at El Rado South Hindu School, which last night when I thought about it, I realized I am old now. So when I refer to this school as my school, you must understand why. It's a great part of me. A graduation ceremony is a school's main event. It is an event to which we highlight our academic achievement and all our achievements. It is one of the we place it is one event that we place great importance to. It marks the culmination of seven years of primary education for these students. Today they stand on the threshold of secondary school and the beginning of their lives. Students, just imagine in a few days, you will receive the results of your hard work and then the world is yours to conquer. It is always difficult to say goodbye to the graduating class as we have bonded with them, shared many wonderful moments, work with them to achieve all they can achieve, but sadly, it must be done. Today is one filled with bittersweet emotions. It is always a sad moment for me as I have had the opportunity to chart the course, to chart the journey of these pupils, to assign them to classes, to plan events for them, to put plans in place for their spiritual, moral, and emotional development, helping them to achieve all they can achieve. We have shared many wonderful moments, and now it is time to say goodbye, not only to the students of the class of 2024, but to many parents as well. Together with your parents and many of our stakeholders, we have the opportunity today to culminate your seven years in a grand and memorable way. As the principal of El Rado South Hindu School, it gives me great pride and pleasure to reflect on the accomplishments of this school for the academic year 2023-2024. The El Rado South Hindu School has become well known from its inception for its excellent common entrance results at the time. Since 2022, sorry, since two, the year 2000, it has continued this legacy as we continue to produce excellent SCA results. The COVID-19 pandemic was daunting, but it did not stop us. The SCA results during this time was on par due to the continued dedication and diligence of the staff of the El Rado South Hindu School. It gives me great pleasure to highlight the SC results of the class of 2023. Last year we had 74 pupils writing the SCA exam. 58.1% of them passed for seven-year schools. 37.8% to five-year schools. One student went to a life center and two unsuccessful. Hillview College, six. Lakshmi Girls College, 14. Vishnu Boys Hindu College, six. Saraswati Girls Hindu College, one. St. Augustine Girls High School, five. Ashja Girls Tunapuna, four. Swaha College in Sangri Grandi, one. Bishops Ansi East, one. Trinity College East, five. Tunapuna Secondary, five. Eldo, sorry, Tunapuna Secondary 6, Eldo East 3, Eldo West 6, Holy Cross College 1, Far Rivers Secondary 2, St. Joseph Secondary 2, St. Charles College 4, Belmont Boys 1, Arangwe Secondary 1, the San Juan Life Center 1, and 2 to reset. I pause to welcome 
Pandit Dinesh Rambali and Srimati Candice Rambali. Today we'll be honoring the top three students of the class of 2023. And we will also be honoring some past pupils of our school who received scholarships for CAPE 2023. And we eagerly await the results of 2024 to add to our history. This school has also been selected as one of the 200 schools participating in the national test examination on June the 20th, 2024. In the sphere of culture, we have a very active devotion, and I must say it is getting better and better. Pupils are actively taking part in our devotion. We are seeing more and more pupils asking me to bring to school Dolox, Mr. Maraj, they're on their own. Lunchtime, recess time after school, these children are beating Dolox on their own. Nobody's teaching them, they are self-taught. Of course, the neighbors might complain a little bit. But that has encouraged many, many, many children to actively participate in our devotion, providing music for us on the morning. On the 9th of November, we had our Diwali Puja. And of course, the best part of that for some of them is the food that was catered by the Kedan family, who are, both of whom are here today. And then we had our Diwali light up. That week of Diwali, our children were provided with many different treats on the various days. Of course, these things were sponsored by our parents for them. On the 16th of February, the school took part in the SDMS Chautal Samelan and place eight. The Alorado South Hindu School took part in the SDMS Balvikas 2024 competition. The choirs composed of students from standard three and four and five classes. Pupils participated in the following categories at the preliminary rounds. Gita Sloks, Ramayana singing, Bhajan singing, classical singing, instrumental, folk song and dance. At the finals in June of 2024, we participated in the following categories. Ramayana singing, placing fourth, Bhajan singing, placing third, instrumental, placing third, and the instrumental category were those children who were learning to play the dolok and the harmonium by themselves. And of course, guided later on by the teachers. And they entered the competition and placed third. Folk song category eight, classical singing fourth place. And at the championship level, El Rado South Hindu School placed seventh overall. I am extremely proud of the pupils and staff and also the team of musicians who, have, who gave tremendous support to our school. You will meet them a little later. On the 14th of February, we celebrated Vasan Panchami, where the whole school would have participated in Havan. On the 7th of March, I called the staff and I said, I want to have a grand Mahashivratri program. And hearing this, The owner of Sri Imports called me and donated a lingam to the school. And every child was given an opportunity to offer a lot of dhar, a lot of milk on that lingam to Lord Shiva. And of course, to the accompaniment of many bhajans and chants. It was indeed a moving experience. On the 16th of April, we celebrated Ram Naomi. And on the 23rd of April, we celebrated Hanuman Jayanti. Our Indian Arrival Heritage Month took place where we had displays from all the different departments. Infant department would have displayed clothing and jewelry. Second year department would have put on a display of utensils. Standard one, East Indian foods and sweets. Standard two, traditional songs and plants. The standard three, the festivals and musical instruments. Standard four, the holy books. And the post SEA class would have engaged in herbs, spices, and mitai. Of course, that is the highlight of this class, anything to do with food. Each day, pupils were given lessons on the various aspects. They sang lustily the song day after day, and old children of noble culture, composed by Dr. Kenneth Parmasar. This drew tremendous attention from people all over the world, as it was shown on our Facebook page. And persons from Mauritius, South Africa, messaged us to get copies of these songs. They were so impressed 
by the activities taking place at the El Rado South Hindu School during this month. One of our students played and also sang the national anthem of India. These activities, of course, Mrs. Chande, would support the Ministries of Education Cultural Transformation Initiative. For Christmas, of course, once again, they were treated to pizza and had a grand Christmas concert as well. Competitions, pupils of Standard 3 took part in the National Primary School Diabetes Quiz, where three of our pupils qualified as semi-finalists, Samaya Batu, Alyssa Sumir, and Vihan Ramsarup. Our limited space does not allow for much sporting activities, and so our kids are taking oppo the opportunity to learn to swim at the Kandawal Swimming Complex at the Tunapuna Hindu School. This is part of our extracurricular activity program. We also have the Art by Akela, where the pupils of Standard 2 would have, would have, would have would, sorry, took part in the art program. And on Saturday, the 3rd of March, an art exhibition was held displaying the work of the pupils. This was an event organized by Ms. Navisha Maraj and her team. Parents came and looked at the pieces created by their pupils, by their children, sorry, and they all received certificates. In September, we are hopeful to include many other activities to this, including chess and karate. Other activities that took place during this academic year, our first year department, they had an enchanting evening of nursery rhymes where the parents came and all the children went on stage and they recited nursery rhymes, which is something I wanted to reintroduce. Many of our children today don't know the traditional or the nursery rhymes of long ago. And so they had a wonderful session where the children dressed in costumes and so on and they came and they recited their nursery rhymes. Our second department held its career day an oral poetry concert, and they also took part in the No to Viol Violence Day. They also went on a field trip to Central Bank. Our Standard One department went on a field trip to Lopino Estate where they learned to make chocolate, and they learned the history, and of course participated in singing a little parang, and so on. I also learned how to play a, what they call the Tok Tok. The Standard Four department they had a kitchen garden and, of course, a lecture on electrical safety and conservation by Mr. Danraj Ramcharan. This year, our post SA class, these pupils had so many activities. I think they are tired now. Well, I am tired planning it now. They had swimming sessions, art by Akela, a beautiful etiquette session by the Royal, by members of the Royal Academy of Etiquette. 46 pupils participated in that, where we organized the plates and tables and some, similar to this setting, and had them eat, learn to eat with knife and fork and how to sit and how to hold and how to eat soup so that they can now, parents, you can now safely take them to all the restaurants and they will make you proud. We had lectures on cyber security, electrical safety. They even learned how to make laddu, which was a session done by Mr. and Mrs. Bobby Maraj, parents of the graduating class. They learned needlework, so they can tack buttons when they get loose and do a basic hem. They have had many guidance sessions with our guidance officer on peer pressure, conflict resolution, transition to secondary school, um, sessions by the Ministry of Health officials, the nurses, and of course, their beautiful, their wonderful field trip to the zoo, Angostura, where they toured the bitters and bottling factory and the butterfly room, the Stolmeyer's Castle. These group of these children are now participating on Friday in the Mahasava Sports, the March Pass team, and their final activity took place on Monday where they had a Zumba session. So I think they are tired now. This academic year saw our pupils from year one to the post SEA exposed to many, many activities. We have spent some funds 
Of course, enhancing our school. We have outfitted the school with new whiteboards, changing all the wooden boards to metal structures, boards, whiteboards on metal structures on wheels so that you can move them easily. We have purchased projectors for each department, seven projectors. Each department has a projector that could work even when the lights are on, so teachers can use this in their classroom to bring experiences to the children. And many other innovations in education are taking place. I will not talk much longer because we have a battery of speakers here. But at this point in time, I want you to understand something. This ceremony is about you. And also, this ceremony is about all of us showing appreciation. We have many specially invited guests today. And each one of them are responsible, is responsible for providing you with the educational experiences that you would have had at the El Rado South Hindu School. And so they are invited today to share with the, this day with us. And so we can give thanks to all of them. They say no man is an island can be no further from the truth as a principle. And so, to run this institution and to steer this ship as it were, I too would need a lot of help. And so firstly, to Mr. Vijay Maharaj, Secretary General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, sir, thank you. On a very personal note for all the words of advice, your support, and steering me in the right decision, in the right direction to make decisions for the El Dorado South Hindu School. Thank you for the support you continue to give to the staff, to the school, to the pupils, and the parents. To Pandit Krishna Rambali, you too, sir, play a great part in how I steer this ship. With all your words of advice and encouragement and guidance, and of course, being a past principal, the experience that he shares with us, you can't get that in books. So thank you so very much. And of course, to the office staff, Mr. Vindra Maharaj, the administrative assistance at the board for all his support as well. To other members of the SDMS board, I say thank you for continually supporting the El Rado South Hindu School. To our former manager, Mr. Raj Jadu and Mrs. Jadu, I want to sincerely thank them for their support over the years. It is always a learning experience when we are in the company of Mr. Raj Jadu. In October of 2023, a new manager was appointed to our school, Mr. Varun Pasad. Mr. Pasad is sitting there. To you, sir, I say thank you for all your support over the last year. To the St. George East Education District, and in particular, our line supervisor, Mr. Chris Metivier, I say a heartful thank you, Mr. Metivier, and all supervisors at the St. George East Education District continue to shower and give tremendous support to our school. I say, I, I really do not know how to thank you for the guidance and support that you give us. To the staff of the El Dorado South Hindu School, a truly special, dynamic bunch of teachers. Charles Maguire in his book, The Best Advice for Teachers Ever, wrote, Teaching is at once a vastly important and underrated profession. Despite low pay and constant criticism, teachers tend to our most important asset as a society and civilization, the minds of our students. These pupils have been nurtured by some of the most dedicated, loving, caring, and effective teachers. You all have been truly blessed. Everyone knows that the El Rado South Hindu School is famous for its SEA results. And so this could not happen with the effort and dedication from teachers from first year going straight up to standard five. Teachers have to live up to this mandate. And so the pressure is on. However, they buckle down. They commit themselves. They work hard to ensure that all our students have a fighting chance. They do this with limited resources, lack of physical space, crowded classrooms, and sometimes much criticism. But the love for the children is the main motivating factor. I wish to express my profound gratitude to Ms. Nila Dial, Vice Principal Acting, Ms. Nandi James, Head of Department, 
And to every single teacher at the Eldorado South Indian School, some of them left us, and we say thank you to them as well. I could not have asked for a better staff. There were some changes as our Vice Principal, Mr. Dinesh Bhagwandin, was promoted to the post of Principal of the Felicity Hindu School, leaving us in October of last year. So to you, sir, we say thank you and congratulations. This was your last bunch of children. Joining our staff is Miss, uh, the most recent would be Miss Rihanna Bandu and of Mr. Sunil Sagram, who came across from El Dorado North to join our team at the El Dorado South. These teachers work hard, and, as, and for that reason, our school enjoy many successes. Teachers at this school have shown their creativity. You can visit our Facebook page to see the tremendous work they are doing. The projects at this school have transcended boundaries. Parents and pupils have worked very hard to create many wonderful presentations. They are indeed very innovative and creative. Teachers guide the path along the religious realm. Every day the pupils are guided in prayer and meditation by different groups of teachers each week. They ensure that the different utsavas or religious occasions are celebrated. I want to pay a special thank you to my business operation assistant, Ms. Ria Sukram, who is not well, but yet still battles and comes to school every day to make sure things are running smoothly at the El Dorado South Hindu School. To you, Ria, thank you so very much. God bless you. To the ancillary staff, thank you so very much. They are here with us today. I told them take a rest today and be celebrated. To the security team at the Eldorado South Hindu School, I say thank you. To the parents of the Eldorado South Hindu School graduating class of 2024. Jane D. Hull, governor of Arizona, during the period of 1997 to 2003 said, at the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. I take this opportunity to thank all of you for your support, dedication, and willingness to help the El Rado South Hindu School. The support of our parents have allowed us to grow from strength to strength. I pay special recognition to our PSN president, Ms. Roshni Maharaj, who is a force to be reckoned with, and to all the class reps. With them in charge, it reminds me of a saying that says, worrying is like a rocking chair. It gives you something to do, but it gets you nowhere. So I do not worry. To the class of 2024, my dear children, the world is yours to conquer. You are leaving El Rado South in the school, and you are going out to secondary school, tertiary level, and then you are going to become great citizens of the world, not just Trinidad and Tobago, but of the world. I will miss you. We have had many, many tremendous, um, exciting moments, happy moments, a little bit serious moments too. But I will miss you tremendously, especially the colorful students of the class who had me going all the time. They are here today. You have worked hard for the last seven years. You have battled online classes, returned to physical classes, settled down, and I am sure in a couple of days' time, I, we are going to hear excellent results from you. My last message to you is as follows. As you leave our protective care, I want you to remember a few things. The most important thing I want you to remember is that the world owes you nothing. You are not entitled to anything. Whatever you want, you must work hard for it, and then it becomes yours. Getting something from somebody else is not yours. When you work hard for it, it becomes yours. And if you don't remember anything, remember that. Too many youths in our society today are growing up becoming entitled 
and so they do not value anything. I don't want you to be people like that. I want you to be citizens who are hardworking, who will put your country first, who will put your family, you will take care of your families, you will take care of your homes, you will take care of yourselves, you will contribute to make this world, this country and this world a better place. The mantle will be passed to you very soon. Always honor your parents. Let that be a principal idea in your head. Always honor your parents. They are your first gurus. Always have deepest respect and regard for your teachers and your elders. Because they will bless you. Stay on the path of dharma. Set, your, set goals for yourself and don't let anybody make you stray from the path. Always believe in yourself. Never be too busy for prayer. Religion and education go hand in hand. Make secondary school education a priority for the next seven years. And then your university education also must be a priority. Live your lives in such a way that you can hold your heads high and be respected. There is nothing like failure. There is nothing like failure. My dear pupils, class of 2024, go forward and conquer the world. To each and every one of you, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Our proud principal, indeed. Yes? A round of applause. And yes, he has a lot to be proud of, all of you here today. All the hard work that we all put in. And sir, I know that you recognize us, but it is good to hear it sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So at this point, I'm going to say something that I just heard Sir saying, but it's written, so we both wrote our little parts separately, but somehow it's the same thing. So I, I'm just going to say it. So my introduction here is that it is said that the most overwhelming key to a child's success is a positive involvement of parents. And that is exactly what Sue said just now. So here at our school, the El Dorado South Hindu School, we have very, very supportive parents, dedicated and helpful parents always ready to assist in whatever the task would be. They are ready. And at the forefront of this is our PSN president, Mrs. Roshini Maharaj, who is always there to organize her team. They are always ready to help us. So now, to represent the parent body, I invite our next speaker, the president of the Parent Support Network, Mrs. Roshni Maharaj, to address the graduates. Mrs. Maharaj. Sita Ram, everyone, and a pleasant good morning to each and every one. Principal, Mr. Adesh Maharaj of the Eldorado South Hindu School. Vice Principal Actin, Ms. Neela Dial Ramdas, Secretary General of the Sanata Dharma Mahasabha, Mr. Vijay Maharaj and Mrs. Maharaj, President General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Pandit Krishna Rambali and Mrs. Rambali. Our featured speaker. Mrs. Keshmani Dani Ram Gosain, Principal of the Gandhi Memorial Vedic Primary School. School Supervisor One, Ms. Chande Maharaj. And 
our manager, Mr. Varun Pasad. Welcome, everyone, and a pleasant good morning to each and every one. To all our specially invited guests, welcome, all protocols observed. Children, this is your day. And welcome to each and every one of you and your parents. You all look so lovely today. On behalf of the Parent Support Network, I am here to bring greetings to each and every one of you. To our teachers, Sitaram. I bring greetings to you on behalf of the PSN. Today, as we stand at the brink of a new chapter in your lives, we are all filled with excitement and gratitude. You have journeyed through school, learning, growing, and making memories. Memories that I am positively sure would last a lifetime because you all have made so many friends. And now as you prepare to step out into the world, a world of endless promises and endless possibilities. As we gather here today, we are reminded of the theme of this graduation, the world is ours to conquer. And what does that mean? It means that each and every one of you has the power to shape your own destiny, to overcome any obstacle and achieve your dreams. The world is full of opportunities, just waiting for each of you to grasp and to seize. Remember, conquering the world is not simply about achieving success for oneself. It is about making a positive impact on the world around you. It's about using your talents and passion to make a difference in the world. And also in the people and the lives around you. Though kindness, true kindness, volunteering, standing up for what you believe in. You have the power to change the world for the better. And don't forget that, that the slightest and smallest thing that you believe might not be important could make a huge difference. As you all embark on this journey, remember the lessons learned along the way. The importance of hard work, perseverance, the friendship forged, and the support from your teachers your families, don't forget your parents, and of course, each other. Always remember, the world is yours to conquer. So go out there and make your mark on this world. Continue to dream big, work hard, and never stop believing in yourself. Don't ever, ever forget that you are quite capable of achieving anything out there. On behalf of the PT and the PSN, the Parent Support Network of the Alorado South Hindu School, congratulations, class of 2024. The world is waiting for you, and no doubt that you will be able to conquer it together. Sit around. Thank you, Mrs. Maharaj. We now ask. Mr. Sunil Sagram to make a presentation. So at this point, we'll just make a little change in the program. I will now invite the Secretary General of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Sri Vijay Maharaj to address us. Sitaram, it gives me great pleasure that I'm addressing the first of 41, 42, 43 graduations that are taking place within the next two weeks. And here I am at the El Dorado South Hindu School. <laughs> yes, I do have to run away. In a short while. But first, let me pay my respects and recognize 
the principal of the Colorado South Hindu School, Pandit Adish Maharaj, Secretary General Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, myself, the President General of the Mahasabha, Pandit Krishna Rambali, the Assistant Secretary of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Pandit Dinesh Rambali, our guest speaker, Mrs. Krishni Taniram Gosain, of the principal of the Gandhi Memorial College. I'm still a little shaken, as you couldn't realize, but give me a chance, I'll get back to normal. Our school principals present, our school supervisors. Graduates, your principal spoke about his 25 years association with El Dorado South Hindu School. Well, I'm about to overdo him. Because my first association with El Dorado South Hindu School began in 1987. My eldest son came here. My sons came here. And last year, my grandson graduated from here to Hillview College. 37 years. That is why I'm here today. First and foremost. And what I have to say is very simple. Very simple indeed. When you graduates, when you first entered this school, you came in at the age of five. You spent seven years. But the most important persons in your lives at that point in time were your teachers. When you came in, they laughed with you. They cried with you. They hugged you. Because you know why? Each and every one of you on your first day of school wanted to run away and go home. Each one of you didn't want to eat. You wanted your parents. You wanted your guardian. Each one of you, right, would have done something that required you to run away from school because you are in a strange environment. And here, seven years later, you're about to enter a new strange environment, aren't you? You're t you don't have the same teacher. You'd go from class to class. Different teachers as you go along the road. And you have been trained. You've been trained and you've been helped along the root of growth as you went along. And each one of you in your own right, you've had parental support. And the most important thing in a child's life in school is their parental support. And that is why El Dorado South Hindu School does so well. My sons, they each one competed against one another, all three of them. One went Hillview, one went St. Mary's, one went Presentation Shaguanas. And my grandson is now at Hillview. So you can do it. Nothing can stop you from doing it. And you can go ahead and continue in your education. And as you enter this new environment of education, remember but one thing. You are the most precious asset that we have in Trinidad and Tobago today. You are the most precious asset. Whatever you become, whatever you intend to do, you'll be doing it for years to come. But more than that, sit and talk to your elders and sit and talk to your parents. The world is in turmoil. The world is actually in turmoil. There are wars is everywhere. There's greed. And you are about to enter that world and attempt to change it. The world now belongs to you. We are on our way out. 
The world belongs to you. Take it by the scruff of the neck. Take it by the scruff of the neck and say, I want this. I want that. And in due course, the world will be a place without borders. We might not be around, us elders might not be around any longer. But the world will be a place without borders. Where you have movement freely from here to there. And they will be seeking you. They will be seeking you because you have the education. You have the professional background in years to come. Because right now, there's a brain drain taking place. There's actually a brain drain. I speak to Miss Chandani there. I speak to Mr. Roger Roshan. The Canadian government, the British government, has put out advertisement for teachers. And they're poaching on teachers. And you have teachers here. Appreciate them. Because as I said, they laugh with you, they cry with you. They put out the extra effort. They put out the extra effort. And more than that, myself on a personal basis, having grown up in a foreign country, I remember going to school and being told that every night when I go to bed, push my slippers under the bed. Why? Because when I get up in the morning, I have to kneel down to get it, and I pray to God. Here we don't do that. Here you bow to your parents' feet. Because God is the most important asset in your life. Together with your teachers, together with your parents. Put God in front and everything will be moving smoothly along. In every one of our schools, right as you enter, it is no longer school, just a school. It is a place of worship. Right at the entrance of a school is Ganapati Baba, Lord Ganesh. The God of wisdom and knowledge. And that is the first thing you see on entering. And when you enter that, you know you have come into a place where you're going to be educated, but you're also going to be in a temple of such that God is with you and guiding you along. I've told many a children that I've been to, together with the President General, we visit all our schools just prior to the exams. All our schools prior to the exams we visit. And I go to the standard five class. And I would say to them, I would say, young man, young lady, when you enter exams, how many marks do you have? How many marks do you have? And 99% of them would say zero. I don't have any marks. Is that correct? Do you have any marks? That's not true, son. You have a hundred marks. And there is this mysterious person with a red pen in the hand trying to thief your marks. They're trying to steal from you. They're looking for you to make a mistake. They want you to make a mistake so that they can take your marks away. When you go to secondary school and you go to university, the same thing is it applies. You go with a hundred marks. And there is somebody looking for you to make a mistake when you write an exam. So how do you counter that? You counter it by putting your best foot forward and learning what you want to become, a doctor, a lawyer, 
an accountant, whatever it may be, concentrate on what you want to become. Don't let anybody steal your marks. It is like having a hundred dollars in your pocket, one dollar notes, and someone coming every minute and taking a dollar away. Are you going to allow that to happen? No, you don't. So my message to you is, what is yours? Fight to keep it. Don't let anybody take it away. And don't give them an excuse to take it away from you. Don't let it be an excuse. Where you are coming from is the El Dorado South Hindu School. Always remember your alma mater. There are many great persons who have passed through El Dorado South Hindu School. And you are but a few of them. In years to come, look upon El Dorado Hindu School as your training ground. As how you go forth, what effort you put out is what benefits you shall reap. But all of us can't be doctors and lawyers, you know. All of us can't be accountants. All of us can't be pilots. We know our, we should know together with your parents what you're capable of doing and concentrate on that. Concentrate on that profession that you want. Concentrate on what you need. And always remember, wherever you go, whatever you do, Trinidad and Tobago is your land. You own a piece of Trinidad and Tobago. You own Trinidad and Tobago. Wherever you may go, whatever citizenship you might wish to take or out, Trinidad and Tobago belongs to you. This is our motherland. And let it be so. And this school is your father and mother school. And this is the school that propelled you in the direction in which you are about to enter. I wish each and every one of you God's blessings because results are on the verge of coming out. They're on the verge of coming out very shortly. And I'm sure you're all going to do well. Each and every one of you are going to do well. Regardless of which school you go to, you will do well. But the efforts you have put out and the sweat of that brow and the sleepless nights and the prodding by your parents and the hard work put out by your teachers, you will reap the benefits of it. I wish you all the best of luck and Bhagwan's blessings. Sitaram. Thank you, sir, for your most valuable words of wisdom to our children. And now, Miss Nandi, Mrs. Nandi Jim will present a token. Mr. Maharaj, on behalf of the principal and staff of the Colorado South Hindu School, we want to extend this small token of appreciation for your words of advice, wisdom, and your continued support of the Colorado South Hindu School. Mr. Maharaj, would you accept this small token of appreciation on behalf of your wife, Ms. Tami Maharaj, from the El Dorado South Hindu School. Thank you for all that you do for us and all the advice that you give to us. Thank you again, sir. At this point, I will call On the principal, Pandit Adesh Maharaj, to 
make a special presentation. We have to just change a little protocol on the listing that you are seeing there, as um, many of our guests have commitments. Today, I, as the principal of the El Dorado South Hindu School, would like to pay my they are very special, my respects and regards to a very special person who is none other than the principal of El Dorado North Hindu School. Coming from the El Dorado South Hindu School, and Mr. Maharaj just said it, eh? El Dorado South Hindu School is the father and the mother school, right? <laughs> you know, there's always a battle when Mr. Mahindra is talking that El Dorado South is the sister school, right? So we just had that corrected. Mr. Mahindra Maharaj is retiring as principal of the El Dorado South Hindu School in August of this year. North, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're mixing it up now. He is retiring as the principal of the El Dorado North Hindu School in August of this year. And so, the El Dorado South Hindu School family would like to honor you today, it's very specially, and to thank you as being the parent school <laughs> for your years of dedicated service to the El Dorado North Hindu School communi um, community, children, and of course to the El Dorado community on, at large. And so please accept a small token if you can come forward and please accept a small token from our school to you, having served in the capacity as principal of the El Rado North Hindu School. The plaque reads Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha Incorporated and the Daljit Mosai El Rado South Hindu School recognize Mr. Mahindranath Maharaj, principal of the El Rado North Hindu School, for its stand outstanding and dedicated service to the El Rado community and beyond in the field of education. Partners in education. Partners outside too, but. <laughs> So, I'll now call on Mr. Alan Samaru, our Standard 5 teacher, to explain a little something about special prizes that we have today. All right, again, we are just shifting away from our program to facilitate everybody. So, Mr. Alan. It is my pleasure to present the awards for the top three students of the El Dorado South Hindu School at SEA 2023. These students have demonstrated exceptional academic excellence, dedication, and hard work standing out among their peers through their outstanding performance. Their journey has been marked by long hours of study, a commitment to overcoming challenges, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge and are now excelling in their respective secondary schools, flying high the flag of El Dorado South Hindu School. I humbly request on stage our dear principal, Pandit Adesh, to make these presentations. These students have embraced the spirit of learning and have set a high standard for their peers, exemplifying what it means to be a true scholar. In their success is a reflection of the individual efforts and unwavering support of their families and the guidance and encouragement of their teachers. We now present to you the awards for the top three performers of the El Dorado South Hindu School for SEA 2023. In his absence, scoring the third highest score at SEA 2023, Mr. Justin Williams. Scoring the second highest score at SEA 2023, Ms. Zara Rupchan. Can you make your way up on stage? Congratulations, Zara. And topping the El Dorado South Hindu School at SCA 2023, Ravina Ragbear. Let us give our top performers a round of applause. Justin Williams, Zara Rupchan, and Ravina Ragbear. So this now brings us to our next speaker, 
our school guidance counselor, Mrs. Lisa Jack Daniel, who has been a source of great comfort and support to all our students. I now in invite Mrs. Jack Daniel to the podium. School manager, Mr. Varun Pasad. School super supervisor, Ms. Chandai Maharaj. SDMS representative, Pandit Krishna Rambali. SDMS Secretary General Sri Vijay Maharaj. Feature speaker, Ms. Kishmi Daniram Gosain, Principal of the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School. PSN President, Ms. Roshni Maharaj, Principal, my lovely principal, as I like to say, Mr. Adish Maharaj. Specially invited guests, teachers, parents, and my lovely graduates, Sitaram, and good morning. On behalf of the Ministry of Education, Student Support Services Division, Guidance and Counseling Unit, I bring greetings. Before I launch into the typical words of advice that one gives at a graduation speech, it would be remiss of me if I did not acknowledge all of the parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, and cousins who are here today. As a parent myself, I can imagine all the feelings that must be bubbling to the surface as you look at your child on their graduation day. So if I had to guess, you are probably bursting with pride and excitement as they transition into a new stage of their educational journey. Graduates, as much as this day is about your accomplishments here at El Arado South Hindu, you could not have made it to this moment without all of the love and support of your principal, teachers, family, and friends. So don't be too cool today to give them a big hug when you walk off the stage and tell them that you love them. Class of 2024, you have done the difficult, challenging, and tear-inducing work. You move from learning to read and spelling big words in infants, to working out simple interest questions, and finding the main idea in comprehension passages as you prepare to write the SCA examination. I also watched you form new friendships, bonded at different activities held at the school, and over the past month, as we worked closely together during our transition sessions, I saw you grow stronger in finding your identity and voice. I saw strong individuals who are going to make an impact in their new secondary schools. I feel proud because I know you are ready for the challenges ahead. Due to the transitions you have made, your resiliency, the effort you put into being a better individual and student. Go change the world. As you cherish the fruits of your hard work, I wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do. Dream new dreams. Embark on who you are. Embrace life with passion and keep reaching for the stars. Shine on and go for it. Never let an obstacle keep you back from accomplishing your dreams. Find a way to overcome it. Remember, you will always have the love and support of your immediate family and your El Arado South Hindu family. We are always here for you and never be afraid to ask for our help. Parents, show love to your children no matter what the results may be next month. Continue to be their biggest cheerleader. Be a pillar of strength and support to them as they embark on this new journey. They will need you more than ever in this next part of their lives. So class of 2024, before I go, I will leave you with some final words from the ever insightful Winnie the Pooh. You are braver than you believe, 
stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. So congratulations, class of 2024. You did it. Go change the world. Thank you. And now I'll invite Ms. Vishma to make a presentation. The Ministry of Education, St. George East Education District has always maintained effective communication and immediate response to all our concerns at our school whenever we may encounter. They have always been there guiding, directing, and supporting us accordingly. We do appreciate everything that the ministry would have done in the past and their continued support in the future and now representing a representative of the MOE, Mrs. Chandi Maharaj, School Supervisor 1, I now invite to address us. Keynote speaker, Ms. Keshmani Daniram Gosain, Principal of Gandhi Memorial Vedic School, President General of Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, Pandit Krishna Rambali, and his Dharam Patni, Mrs. Mati Rambali, our Secretary General, Sri Vijay Maharaj, who would have just left on an important mission, representative of, okay. I'm not seeing, well, on here, Mr. Dinesh Rambali and his lovely Dharampatni, Candice Rambali. Our school manager, Mr. Varun Pasad and Mrs. Pasad, president of the Parent Support Network, Mrs. Roshani Maharaj, principal of the El Dorado South Hindu School, Pandit Adish Maharaj, specially invited guests, other principals, um, Principal Mrs. Susan Raghunanan of Spring Village Hindu School, and I think there's one other principal. Yes, uh, principals of other neighboring school, parents of the students of graduating class 2022, our graduates, listeners on Radio Jagrati, and viewers on TV Jagrati, Sitaram, everyone. Firstly, I'd like to say a heartfelt congratulations to Eldorado, Eldorado South Hindu School uh, principal and staff for the continued dedication and hard work that we see coming out of the school. This is a school that continues to strive for excellence, even though they are considered one of the more excellent, high-performing schools in St. George's and indeed in Trinidad and Tobago that does not diminish their determination to continue to succeed and continue to excel. Pandit Adish is often calling me to complain about what he believes to be the shortcomings and what he needs to get done in order to fix the shortcomings. So to someone looking from the outside, you see they're doing well, but it doesn't just happen. Whatever tiny shortcomings he sees, He's like, we need to fix this. We need to fix that. This is not going well. I don't like this. I find my teacher's not doing this little thing well. So he's always there trying to improve, and that is the, the sign of someone who aims for excellence. And when you aim for excellence and you're always trying to improve, you will. It will happen because you are, he's always ever vigilant and ever striving for that that achievement of the best and the best that he can be. And so that is what really is the hallmark of excellence. So children, let that be one of your guides, that your principal and your teachers continue to always strive for improvement. They've done well. He spoke of all the, cha all the challenges, which 
uh, not many, um, but he spoke, he didn't elaborate, but he spoke of all the excelling areas that you have been able to achieve. And yet, he continues to strive to get even better there. And that's what we want to see from all our schools. Graduates, today is your day. The theme for today is the world is yours to conquer. And I'm happy for that theme because in case you did not know it, and you will learn it soon, the world really is yours to conquer because you are young, you have a sound education and a vast amount of knowledge, a holistic education provided to you, and the world is open. Dear, anything you want to be, you can be. Never feel that you are less than someone else. Know that whatever is your dream, you can make it a reality. And luckily, you live in a country like Trinidad and Tobago, where education is free for the most part, where you can realize that dream, and I want you to embrace the opportunities that will come your way as you strive for excellence as your principal and your teachers at El Dorado South Hindu has demonstrated. So I want to say to you, conquer by planning and preparation. Nothing happens by just saying, I want this. It must not be a dream. Your want is a dream. But when you prepare and you plan and execute, it becomes a reality. Conquer by overcoming procrastination. Standard five, someone tell me, what's the meaning of procrastination? Anybody? I'm hearing whisperings. Nobody wants to tell me what's procrastination? What is to procrastinate? Yes, it is to, to put off or to delay doing something. And when we procrastinate, nothing gets done. So remember that word, procrastination, and make sure it's something you don't practice. Get rid of it. Conquer by in avoiding instant gratification. You know what's instant gratification? You know, there are children, they want ice cream. There's no ice cream in the house, and the parents have to leave the house at 9 in the night and drive and find ice cream. That's instant gratification. When the minute you want something, you must get it. We need to avoid instant gratification and instead work towards satisfying something called delayed gratification. Work towards waiting for something. You want ice cream? Okay, well, clean your room. And then we get ice cream. And then the ice cream tastes better because you work hard for it. So work on delayed gratification instead of instant gratification. And there are several things I want you to do when you conquer. Conquer the world by always giving your best. Conquer the world by going the extra mile. Conquer the world by being thankful and prayerful. And conquer the world by being humble. Conquer by being kind and conquer the world by always dreaming big. I always tell children, be the change you want to see in the world. Those are the words of the great Mahatma Gandhi. As he said, you have to be that change. You want to see improvement in the environment, then you should ensure that your environment is clean and you do whatever you can. Small things count for a lot. Remember that you are the person who determines your own destiny. Today, Pandit Adi said that um, we must not just expect things to happen. We must get it done. And you are the person to do that. Remember, you, you are a child of El Dorado South Hindu, you are a child of Trinidad and Tobago. You have a family. You live in a community. You have a country. 
and you are part of the world. And always remember, just as we expect things from these communities that I've called, we also should do a small part to make it better. And if you ever think that you are too small to make a difference, just imagine what one mosquito is capable of doing in the dark room when you're sleeping. So we are never too small. In closing, I wish you every success in your SEA results and continued excellence in all that you do. Thank you, and Sita Ram. Miss, thank you for all your kind words of wisdom and advice. At this point, we have reached an organization that is responsible for you being in a Hindu school, learning your dharma, your religion, having an opportunity to learn about our scriptures, like the Ramayana, to learn Hindi, and to take part in Balvikas and win. This organization, the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha, one of our main stakeholders. I now invite Pandit Krishna Rambali, President General, to address you, graduate. Sitaram, everyone. Thank you, Madam Chair. This morning, I am wondering what I should say or what was left for me to say. And what I will say that will not overflow into the main speaker's speech. But children, I looked at you. The world is yours to conquer. And I remembered a name, Chanak, Hindu philosophy. He's a very controversial writer. And he will get both sides of a coin. And he said the world is very easy to conquer. And you can conquer it through education. Remember that name? Well, that gentleman, if I could address him that way, a great philosopher, he goes by many names. So when you read, you will see other names. Countilia, and he has many names. But you can conquer on the path that you are on, education. Let me just give you a little story. Yesterday I attended a funeral and I met I can only recall two people who were with me in primary school. So that means three of us are around still. <laughs> so he's talking something about 70 years ago. And he's reminding me about the football we played and the cricket and every sport that we got indulged in. It meant mud. Because think. All the playing fields, that was the playing fields in the rainy season. And he's recalling all of these incidents we had over 70 years ago. And I am busy, and he's enjoying reflecting on those days, and I want to leave. <laughs> but I listened to him. And that brings me to the point what would have happened with you, the Standard 5 class. So, this morning, the pleasure is really mine to be present at El Dorado South Hindu School. Mr. Principal, Pandit Adesh Maharaj, feature speaker, principal of the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School, Ms. Go sign. School supervisor, Ms. Chan 
Dei Maharaj, manager, Mr. Varun Pasad, MP for Shagwana West, Mr. Dinesh Rambali, principals, I see Mr. Dinesh Bhagwandin, principal Felicity Hindu, Mr. Mahindra Maharaj, El Dorado North, Parent Support Network, Mrs. Maharaj, and all you distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our graduating class. I give you that little friendship is what is going to, you are going to remember. You may go separate pathways, but the friendship will remain. The bonding that you have created, you will always reflect on it. And those are some of the things that you will remember at El Dorado South Hindu School. This journey of yours has been a very pleasurable one so far. I feel certain about that. Because you get that kind of, if I could use the word pastoral care. Your teachers, your principal, they oversaw you in every activity and their hands was always there for you to hold. So that kind of caring, I can say with for certain, it is not going to be there in the next stage of your education. You will have the support of your teachers and so on. But what you got at the primary school, you are not going to receive it there. So in the same breath, I want a word to our parents. Generally, my view is when we have graduation, I believe we need to talk to the parents only. Because every parent is very concerned, SEA, SEA. And some of us as parents, when the SEA is over, that care and concern for the children seem to be lost. I said some, eh? and that is a true fact. I spent a number of years, I could safely say I am 60 years in education now. And this is what we have seen. So I just want a word of caution to parents. Your children will continue to need your guidance and your support. Don't believe they are big now. You need to attend to that. To you, the graduating class, the next stage is very easy. You have gotten everything you need to take you here now until the end of your university studies. You have been given a value system in the primary school that once you remember, that's take you through life. You have a belief system, the traditions and the teachings of, I want to say the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha Hindu schools, they leave you with those value system and a belief system, which gives you an identity. And once you stick to those, your journey is going to be an easy one. So I want to congratulate you on your hard work to the present time. In my view, you have done exceedingly well. You come from a prized school. And I have no doubt in my mind that you are going to do exceedingly well as you take up the next journey in your education. So best wishes to all of you. May you put that effort that you, may, you must not regret later on. Sometimes we, we speak and we pamper you too much. We have to tell you the dangers that you are going to face later on. And it is easy to be tempted to do the things that your peers may want to do that is not right. So you have to be 
very, very cautious in how you conduct yourself, how you carry about yourself at your secondary level. So let me repeat my sincerest wish that you are successful with the schools that you look forward to in the results that will be coming out by the end of the month or before the end of the month. And may your journey in the second phase of your life be a very successful one. Before I close, I wish that we can have principles like Mr. Opandit Adish. And I say this for the parents because some of you have other siblings and children who will be attending. Sometimes we forget to tell those people who perform at the highest level with excellence and we take them for granted. But we need to tell them when they do a wonderful job, thank you and continue along the path. To the teachers, if he is doing well, it means you are doing well also. Thank you. Bhagwan's blessing. We shall now be entertained by one of our standard two students, a budden star who made his debut at our Indian Arrival Day concert. Anybody wishes to see more of him after today, you can check our Facebook page. Since then, his popularity has been growing steadily. I now present to you Ashish Bichan in song. and wish them best of luck in this future. Ashesh. Very nice. At this juncture in our proceedings this evening, I will invite 
on stage Mr. Sunil Sagram and Mr. Alan Samaru to take us through the distribution of certificates. Sitaram, we've come to the most anticipated part of today's program. Today, we honor the achievements of these remarkable young boys and girls here before us after having successfully completed seven years of primary education. Before we begin, I humbly request to assist with the distribution of certificates and tokens, the President General of the Sanatan Darba Mahasabha, Pandit Krishna Rambali, and Principal of the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School, Mrs. Keshmini Daniram Gosain. Joining them on stage, our esteemed principal of the El Dorado South Hindu School, Pandit Adesh Maharaj. Boys and girls, as you prepare to step forward and receive your certificates, take a moment to appreciate and support the support and encouragement from your parents and teachers who have been with you every step of the way. Their belief in you has been a cornerstone of your success. Principal Pandit Adesh Maharaj, we present to you the graduates of the class of 2024. Alveda Babulal, Parents, this is your opportunity to cheer for your children. Looking lovely. Danel Babulal. Sanaya Balgobin. Sorry, Rayan Balgobin. Now, Sanaya Balgovin. Priyanka Balkaran. Sachin Barhu Avi Bihari Ricky Bago Ricky Bago Joshua Bola Saisha Bridge Mohan Milana Cordes. Mm -hmm. 
Ranveer Dharam Singh. Camille Edwards. Piriz Gajada. Liam Goita. Jessica Hamill. Kayla Haridat. Ishwari Harilal. Jaya Jan. Shival Karim. Renal Khan Natalia Kisun Kristen Kumar Singh. Rohan Lachman. Alyssa Mahadeo Kavisha Maharaj Shivesh Maharaj Vaishali Maharaj Vin Manki Pariag Jace Matura
Alia Mohamed. Mackenzie Moti. Tiberius Netram. Gabriela Nepal. Shailan Nicholas. Mr. Sanjay Purdin. Vinay Polchan. Varun Radu. Ambika Rajkumar. Safira Ramdhani. Dara Ramgit. Ashmir Ajay Ramlal. Shriya Ramuta. Nadine Ramrup Kyra Shepherd Drayton Lisa Singh mm -hmm. Alia Sanilal Vishal Suku Malakai Thomas
Sanji Volny. Jamali Williams. And Caitlin Williams. Okay, let's hear a lusty round of applause for all of our graduates. And I thank our three presenters. Thank you very much. As we continue to celebrate the achievements of our graduating class of 2024, it is now time to recognize some exceptional students who have demonstrated outstanding performance in their academic pursuits over the past year, particularly in the preparation for SEA examination. These students have excelled in various areas showcasing their dedication, hard work, and talent. It was no easy task as we tried to keep those marks high, and we know our children were fighting for marks coming down to the end. We had a lovely program where they scored a 100%, they got a $100, and half of my money finished because of that. So firstly, we have an award for excellence in mathematics. To present this award, I humbly request on stage Mr. Dinesh Rambali to assist with the presentation of this prize. This prize is awarded to a student who has shown remarkable aptitude and mastery in mathematical concepts, problem solving, and analytical thinking. Luckily, we have something quite special this year, a tie. You all know who it is? All right, let's see. Receiving the award for excellence in mathematics for the class of 2024, Vishal Suku. So the excitement is brewing. And tying with Vishal, Malakai Thomas. They got the same mark. I checked it twice. I used an AI to check it. And they got the same exact mark for their preparations. And the same money. Let's give Malakai and Vishal a round of applause. Thank you, Pandit Rambali. Next. We, rec we recognize outstanding achievement in English language arts. To present the award for excellence in English language arts, we request Mr. Roger Rosan, School Supervisor One, and former SDMS Principal, Mr. Rosan. This award is given to a student who has excelled in spelling punctuation, grammar, and comprehension, demonstrating a strong command of the English language. The recipient of the English Language Arts Award for 2024 is none other than Sanaya Balgobin. Well done, Sanaya. Okay, let's say it once again for Sanaya. Thank you very much, Mr. Rusan. Lastly, we have an award for excellence in creative writing. To present this award, we call upon Mrs. Susan Ragunanan, principal of the Spring Village Hindu School, to present this award. This prize is awarded to the student who has exhibited exceptional creativity, imagination, and skill in their written work. This year, they would have shown exceptional skills in both narrative and report writing. The recipient for this year's Creative Writing Award is Priyanka Balkaran.
Fantastic job, Priyanka. Thank you so much, Mrs. Raghunanan. I now call upon someone very special to assist with the presentation of this special award. I humbly request to the stage, Mr. Dinesh Bhagwandin, principal of the Felicity Hindu School. This year, we are excited to introduce a new category of award that embodies the essence of what it means to be a student at the El Dorado South Hindu School. The School Spirit Award is presented to a student who has exhibited all the values that define our school community. This student has shown enthusiasm and zeal in all activities with no complaints, including daily devotion, balvikas, assistance to both students and teachers, sports, culture, and a general love for the school and everything it stands for. The recipient of this award is someone who truly represents the heart and soul of El Dorado South Hindu School, embodying the spirit and dedication, community and excellence. The creation of this award was a collective decision by our esteemed principal, Pandit Adesh, and it was received with unanimous agreement from all teachers, which shows the character of the recipients. Strangely enough, this year, we have two. Your support, your actions through participation will always be remembered by the board Ministry of Education, and most importantly, the El Dorado South Hindu School family. We pray that this award continues to keep that spark within your light so that you may become an ideal citizen. Ladies and gentlemen, the recipients of the School Spirit Award for 2024, Sanjay Purdin. and Jamali Williams. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a lusty round of applause to all our recipients. Thank you, Mr. Bagwandin. I now call on stage Principal Pandit Adesh to take us through the rest of our awards today we have already presented the awards for SCA and now we would like to present the awards for our national scholarship winners every year at our graduation we honor and pay tribute to the children who have left our school but still continue to make the school proud at the level of um, Cape and that's where they will receive their national scholarships. And that just goes to show as they continue, how they continue to work very hard and keeping the flag of El Dorado South Hindu School flying hard together with their secondary school. So at this year's CAPE examination, we had three of our pupils um, obtaining national scholarships. And they are in the personalities of Shriya Rampasad, Renita Bharat Singh, and Shravan Maharaj. And so today, we would like to honor these students, two of whom are here with us today. Renita received an open scholarship in mathematics, having pursued at Cape level pure maths, applied maths, physics, and computer science. Let me say that again, eh? Pure maths, <laughs> applied maths right um, physics and computer science having left our school she passed for the Lakshmi girls Hindu College where she spent seven years and I want you to listen to these children you know some people think that if you take part in this and you take part in that it will affect your academic performance huh? she held the leadership position in the school such as deputy, deputy head girl and house captain and these positions would have helped her manage and balance her work ethic, instill motivation and the drive which allowed her to succeed in her studies. She is now a student of the University of the West Indies, pursuing a BSc in Electrical and Computer Engineering. And for the vacation period, she did an internship at TN Tech in Transmission Development and Engineering Services. Of course, her hobbies are going to the gym and playing table tennis. This group of children, 
they excelled from first year straight up to standard five. And they continued excelling from form one to form five and continued going to keep and of course winning this national scholarship. So to present to our students a little token of our love and how happy we are and how proud we are, I would now invite Pandit Krishna Rambali to present the scholarship awards. Firstly, to Miss Renita Bharat Singh. Renita would have also placed on the merit listing for CXC. So at CXC was Geography, Maths, Bio and Physics on the merit list and also on the merit list escape as well. This is how excellent our students have performed. Second, our second award, second scholarship recipient, this young man received an open scholarship in mathematics, having studied at Cape level pure maths, applied maths, information technology and computer science. He attended Hillview College and he was placed on the CXC regional merit list eight times from form five to form six. He placed second in physics and fourth in mathematics at CSEC, ninth in IT, seventh in ComSci, ninth in applied, ninth in pure maths unit one. Third in pure maths, third in applied in unit two. He was also involved in Hillview College many extracurricular activities such as the astronomy um, club, football, robotics. He has entered, he entered the University of the West Indies last term and upon entering the University of the West Indies he was honored as the top matriculant for 2023. This year he will be pursuing a degree in computer science at Florida Institute of Technology. I am indeed very proud of all these children, especially this young man since he's my son. I now call on the stage Shravan Maharaj to receive an award for his open scholarship. And I had to tell you how strict his father was. Our third recipient who could not be here today was Ms. Shriya Rampasad, and she received um, an additional scholarship in the creative and performing arts for physical education. So we congratulate Shriya and her parents. These three students have indeed make, made El Dorado South Indian School very, very proud. And I just want to send a message to all my children. You know, when I get serious in class and we quarrel a bit, it is because exactly what I wanted for my child, I want the same for you. And that's why I would sometimes be the way I am. Yes? Congratulations again. We have a special award again. And before I give the principal's award, before we get the principal's award, I would like, to, we have four bursaries that we would like to offer. And these bursaries will be given to students, value at $2,500 each to assist them when they get their results and they have to buy their books and so on. And so we have four bursaries that, we will, that, that was donated by friends and stakeholders of the El Dorado South Hindu community. The first bursary, the first bursary was donated to one of our students by Shravan Maharaj. And Shravan will present this for himself. And this bursary goes to Piriz Gajada. Smile. 
the second bursary goes to Dhara Ramgit. Mr. Diana, we miss you up on the stage here, boy. Our third bursary will be presented by our scholarship winner, Renita Bharat Singh, and it goes to Master Sanjay Podin. Our fourth bursary goes to Mr. Rohan Lachman. I wasn't much in heights there, I was just by coincidence. <laughs> right, Principal's Award goes to the student who this year and to receive the Principal's Award, of course the Principal would have to be looking at that student from first year come all the way to Standard 5. It will be that student who exemplifies the values, the vision of our school. That student would have taken part in every single thing that the school had. And yet still, that student came to school every day. So attendance was important. Dedication to work. I always remember that student sitting in class and if somebody sat, started talking next to her, she would tell them, shut up because she has to listen. And so, that student, when you look at him or her, he was always well-dressed, never a day out of uniform, never a day missing anything which speaks to the parents. And that student showed remarkable strength. Remarkable strength. Unfortunately, she lost her father a couple of days before the, the exam. And she was out to school the very next day, which shows her determination, which shows her strength. I am proud to present this year's Principal's Award to Sanaya Balgobin. Right. Give yourselves a loud round of applause, everybody who came up. I want to congratulate all of you children. You all are now graduates of class 2024. A loud round of applause. Congratulations. You all have done well. You all have made us proud. And we will follow you throughout your next phase of your academic career so that in a couple of years you'll be coming up here because you would have attained a scholarship, right? You would be going out to conquer the world. So you will be back because we will be following and tracking your achievements okay so you all did well and we are all very very happy and proud i'm sure your parents are very proud of you at this moment so we now have a little entertainment again right so it's a dance Right. Din hora baje re. Din hora baje re. So let me read for you. Listen up. A brief description. You will like this one. So it says, Love entangles the hearts of two souls. And with this bond, nothing in this world can separate that union. A love that is signified as the colors of the rainbow, as the drums rejoice in the celebration of the souls, the sindur adorns her face 
as the light shines on the moon. This love bond cannot be broken by the material world. Taken from the movie Rocky or Rani. Our dancer, Mira Narendranath and Ravindra Ramhit of the Hari Prasad and Sons Nritya Sangam Dance Company. Beautifully done. No. We will have our graduates singing their graduation song. The name of it is Dreamers. And it it tells a story. You are the dreamers that can make anything happen anything and everything all you have to do is to believe in yourself respect yourself and others and know that there is magic within each and every one of you have that special magic to make 
anything and everything happen and the world is yours to conquer right that's our theme so I now present the graduation song from our graduates graduation song and now we have a representative from the student body from the graduating class 2024 
Miss Priya Balkaran, and she's representing the class with her valedictory address. So I now invite Priya, Priyanka, sorry, Priyanka Balkaran. Sitaram, all protocols observed. <laughs> wow, did seven years really pass this quick? Well, you had to admit it, it really did, like a time capsule. As I distinctively remember, I was a cry-cry baby, as there were so many unfamiliar faces, which had soon grown upon me and my fellow classmates, that we all became close friends in very little time. We were all quickly adapted to the warm hugs given to us by our newfound second parents the diligent teachers at El Dorado South Hindu School, a school I can proudly say I attend. One of my fondest memories of first year going into second year was our dedicated teachers enrolling us in Jolly Phonics. This assisted us by molding our minds as well as motivating us to read daily. Imagine, just imagine, our godsend principal, yes, you heard right, Mr. Adish, he even constructed a specialized reading room for us. Now, tell me, how lucky are the students of El Dorado South Hindu School really are? This here is the amount of dedication and love the staff at El Dorado South Hindu School display in order to ensure education was always top of the line. Don't you agree? Not forgetting, as the years went by, every occasion was celebrated with grand gesture. Just to name a few, Pagwa, Indian Arrival Day, Easter, Diwali, and the most famous and eagerly awaited was All You Could Eat Pizza Day and Christmas. Now, there were so many times when classmates would race each other to see who could eat the most. Coincidentally, you know, nobody ever stay home this day. Even birthdays were celebrated in class with cake, ice creams, and party bags. Boy, if you know how every week we looked forward to our birthday celebrating, I must say, fun was never ending. These were times we all anticipated because some included dress up there, and most importantly, what we all hold special in our hearts are the moments we made memories to treasure as we step into another chapter in our lives. Secondary school. We even had cultural celebrations where we were given the privilege to showcase our talents. Dancing, singing, and playing various instruments all captured our unique senses. And by doing this, it earned us a place in the finals of the year 2024 Balvikas Viha Finals. Then boom, a disastrous pandemic, COVID-19, destroyed the level of learning accessibilities. This was when the devoted staff and principal had organized a well-planned surprise for us. Online schooling, whole day. Nevertheless, this had advantages, you know, rolling off the bed and not coming to physical school at 8.30. Snack breaks and water breaks in between when we wanted and still yet, some of us were there doing schoolwork in PJs. And still yet, those online classes still involve projects. At El Dorado South Hindu School, we have the best teachers, both present and past. Fun ended when school returned to normalcy as uniforms collected dust. So much that they didn't fit us, right? <sighs> Lessons. When we thought we had it easy, well, we were so wrong. As the saying goes, morning, noon, and night. While preparing for the big five, chance upon chance, Mr. Adish quoted famous words, if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And by saying this, he encouraged us to do our best. Like time was washed away, standard five crept upon us. As we got accustomed to Saturday lessons, the staff had a treat for us. As if one day wasn't enough, they included Sundays for lessons. Now, mind you, 
Our transport to and from school had become our breakfast shed, study class, revision class, and even sometimes, I am sure, some of us completed assignments as time was so limited. This was a new trend. This is it, 2024, the year of SE, what we had all been waiting for. Preparation, dedication, and hard work was put into testing as we started practice tests to ensure our understanding and knowledge was applied to achieve greater success. Nothing was lacking, lock, stock, barrel, and 100% ready. Trust me when I tell you they were difficult, challenging times. Also, it was a transitional period as our teacher then, Mr. Dinesh Bagwandin, was offered an opportunity of a lifetime to take position as principal at another institution. Although this made us sad, we wondered how we will cope at this crucial time. However, with the blessings and support of our dedicated teachers, they were unstoppable. At El Dorado South Hindu School, they had a plan for everything. Our experiences taught us that, quote, minds are like parachutes. They only function when open, end quote. Another great memory in school life was when we were granted a career day. This was so exciting, and not to mention expensive too, because we had to dress up in actual uniforms for success in our career. You know why? Our incredible teachers inspired us to live our dream jobs at an early age to always maintain focus. I am sure that we can all agree to the time when Mr. Adish had conducted online classes in Standard Tree, and he asked us, to make a sign of our dream school. Who could remember that? Well, we all made that sign and hung it our, in our rooms to remind us, or rather create a vision in our minds to keep us set where we are heading in the near future. Also, our loving principal, Lee, pr principal religiously kept singing in our heads, SEA starts in standard three. SEA starts in standard three. Then, there was our guidance officer, the beautiful Miss Jack Daniel, who always visited us on a weekly basis. She enlightened us about decision making, career choices, and advised us in areas of fundamental situations in life. She even engaged us in some exciting activities to prepare us for the real world. Our experiences at El Dorado South Hindu School is once in a lifetime. Leading up to all of our success and being here today to celebrate our accomplishments is owed to many persons playing key roles. Firstly, the board at Mahasabha, Mr. Vijay Maharaj, who ensured education and upbringing was never lacking, instilling positive words and meaningful values, teaching us religious and cultural training. The Ministry of Education for lending their support to the passionate team at El Dorado South Hindu School. Special mention is made to our dynamic principal, Mr. Adesh Maharaj, who always took joy in ensuring education is the main focus. To the janitors for always having our school clean and to the security guards for making us feel safe. We thank you. At this point, I want to take the opportunity on behalf of my fellow classmates and myself to say a word of thanks and gratitude to our heroes, our principal, Mr. Adish, the powerful man who is powered by Coca-Cola, and the dedicated and amazing teachers of El Dorado South Hindu School. We love you and truly appreciate all your hard work, commitment, and sacrifices in ensuring our success. <coughs> then, there were our dearest, loving parents. A heartfelt thank you for all that you have done. You, provide, you provided us with all that we needed. Your sacrifices and guidance will never be forgotten. On many occasions, I know you maybe couldn't deal with us, but I know your love and support made us super kids. We are grateful for every lesson learned and life skill you've taught us. To my dear graduates, as we venture into a new era in our life, I want to let you know to believe in yourself and create dreams and follow them until it becomes a reality. We have conquered so much, having faced so many changes and challenges. 
we were given the opportunity to explore ourselves. So, never give up. Always have confidence in yourself and everything comes easy. As the saying goes, nothing is impossible. The word says itself, I'm possible. Thank you. At this time, we are going to have a cultural item and you will be serenaded, graduates. You will be serenaded. So, our, our cultural item will be done by Miss Arista Katwaru on the violin. So now she will serenade you.
Let's hear another round of applause for the amazing talent of Ms. Arista Katwaru. I am honored to introduce to you today the feature speaker. Mrs. Keshmini Daniram Gosain is currently the principal of the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School. She is a proud mother of two very successful girls. Her elder daughter, Dr. Risha Sibran Singh, is an anesthesiologist at the San Fernando General Hospital, while her younger daughter, Arya Mahabir, is an attorney at law currently attached to the Republic Bank Limited of Trinidad and Tobago in the capacity of sustainability lead for the United Nations. Mrs. Daniram Gosain is also the proud grandmother of Rai Sukwa, unto whom her unwavering and boundless love is bestowed daily. Mrs. Daniram Gosain began her journey into education when she attended the Avocat Vedic Primary School, followed by the Irie High School, where she completed her secondary education. In 1985, at the tender age of 19, she began teaching at the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School. There she served for two years, during which she successfully taught her first, cla her first class with a 100% success rate in 1987. That same year, she entered the Valsin Teachers College, after which she graduated in 1989 with distinctions in many subjects, including teaching practice, geography, mathematics, social studies. Further to that, in the year 2010, Mrs. Daniram Gosain graduated from the University of New Brunswick, earning her Bachelor of Education degree with distinction. That year, she placed first in the Trinidad and Tobago campus and first overall at the University of New Brunswick campus. Using her acquired knowledge, Mrs. Dani Ram Gosain transformed the culture and level of education at the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School. So much so that it is now one of the top primary schools in Trinidad and Tobago. Mrs. Dani Ram Gosain served in the position of teacher and head of department before becoming principal at the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School in 2009. Despite this promotion, she continued to serve as a teacher to the SEA class. As an SEA teacher, she has accumulated many accolades, including three first, place, three first places in SEA in the years 2008, 2018, and 2022, two second places in the years 2017 and 2018, and one third place in the year 2020. She can also boast the attainment of several students in the top 200 every year with an average of 12 students per year during the period 2008 to 2023. Over the years, Mrs. Daniram has built such an incredible reputation for herself that she is always in high demand for such things as conducting professional development workshops. She was a presenter at the Master Principals Initiative that was hosted by the Ministry of Education at which she gave a presentation on entrepreneurship. She has introduced to the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School many new initiatives including the annual talent show, entrepreneurial fair, health fair, walkathon, and graduation exercises. During the COVID-19 pandemic, she was the mastermind behind setting up the G Suite for Education at the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School, which facilitated an easier transition to online learning. Mrs. Daniram has served as the chairperson of the St. George East Educational District, Cluster B, principals for four years. She has also been a member of the St. George East Educational District management team for the last three years. As can be seen, Mrs. Dani Ram Gosain wears many hats. One of those hats include that of authoress. She has written several books, including Extra Lessons for SEA by Challenge Publishers, Creative Writing Series for Pinnacle.com, SEA Practice Test for Pinnacle.com, and instrumental in the collaboration with Pinnacle.com for their online learning platform in mathematics and grammar. To say that she is simply accomplished would be a drastic understatement. She is indeed a force to be reckoned with and is one of the most dedicated and diligent persons in the primary education faculty in Trinidad and Tobago. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you your feature speaker, Mrs. Keshmini Daniram Gosain. All protocols have been being established this morning. Namaste, Sita Ram, and good morning to all of you. Let me start off by saying congratulations to the graduating class of 2024. I have no doubt that you will excel 
because what your teacher did not tell you is that he started off teaching with me at Gandhi Memorial Vedic School. So I know he's well trained and capable of taking you to great heights. I must begin by saying that I'm absolutely honored to have been asked here this morning to deliver the feature address at your graduation ceremony. As you sit here this morning, adorned in your finest garb, and I must say, you know, I thought we had a little fashion show going here this morning. You all look so remarkable. You embody years of hard work, perseverance, and unyielding determination. This you have been able to achieve with your incredible support system, comprising the principal and staff of El Dorado South Hindu School, your parents, grandparents, and anyone else who may have supported you along the way. This ceremony is not just the end of your primary school education, but the beginning of a new and exciting chapter filled with endless possibilities. As we delve into the theme of your graduation ceremony, the world is yours to conquer, I want you to reflect and ponder on a few questions. Questions that I hope you will keep in mind and use to direct your part as you go into the world as young ladies and gentlemen. And questions that I hope that if up to this point you didn't get some of the answers because a lot of the speakers this morning did talk about conquering the world, you will get the answers to by the end of my address. What does conquering the world mean to you? Have you thought about that? So let's start thinking, right? How do you plan to overcome obstacles and setbacks on your path to success? Who are the role models you can learn from as you strive to conquer the many challenges? What legacy do you want to leave behind? And how can your actions today contribute to a brighter future? So four very important questions, and I may repeat them at the end to see if I will get some answers, right? Have you ever heard the saying, the world is my oyster? No? Okay, little old time, right? But we'll see why I'm asking you that. I believe that this saying is quite an apt one, as it speaks to the endless possibilities that lie ahead and the immense potential within each of you, similar to the beautiful pearl that can be found within the oyster. Each of you possess unique talents, passions, and boundless possibilities that are just waiting to be unleashed as you navigate through the challenges that come your way. When you think about conquering the world, what do you think about? Do you think about doing things to become better than everybody else? Or do you think about earning lots of money when you get older? Yeah? I thought so. Well, we're definitely not on the right track there, right? For conquering the world means a lot more than that. It is overcoming all hurdles, all challenges that come your way to become the best version of you. This you must do while being guided by compassion and empathy. You should be thinking about being courageous to pursue your dreams, determined to overcome obstacles, and committed to making a difference in the world. To conquer the world, you need to harness your skills and passion to create positive changes. How do you therefore move forward in this world that is moving forward at a breakneck speed? How do you stay on this roller coaster called life? And most importantly, how do you conquer the world? First and foremost, you need to set goals. Your principal would have spoken about setting your goals. I know you're just 11 and 12 year olds, and most of you have absolutely no idea what you want to be. Anybody here know exactly what they want to be? Okay, I'm seeing one, two, three hands. Oh, more hands are going up. Okay, well, that's very good. But I'm, I guarantee you many of that is going to change as you go along. That is understandable. However, you still need to set your goals in order to achieve them. You need to set them to guide your journey 
and illuminate your path to your greatest potential. Your goals may and can change as you journey through life. That is all right. You just need to understand what conquering the world means. For some, it may be to become a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, or a businessman. While for others, it may be dedicating time to family and the community, and by extension, the country. Whatever your path, remember your dreams and aspirations are worthy of pursuit. Chase your dreams with relentless passion, for they are the whispers of your true potential calling you to greatness. Many times, as you begin to taste the sweetness of success, you forget where you came from, the people who supported us. And you know, this is something, sometimes you ask a child, an adult, what school did you go to? And in many cases, they mention their secondary school and not the primary school where they got the foundation. And remember, this phase in your life is the most important phase. We become arrogant when we become successful, self-centered and haughty. This will result in your downfall and the world crumbling beneath you. In your quest to conquer the world, you must balance humility with achievement. Learn to recognize the good in others and work to create a world that embodies all that is good and meaningless. You will also need to develop the necessary skills and knowledge in order to succeed and conquer the world. Have you ended at wondered at what stage in your life you are going to stop learning? Anybody have an age for me? Huh? Very good, the answer is never. Never stop learning, growing, and evolving. You need to find mentors and role models and new experiences in order to stay relevant in this fast-paced world. The world is constantly changing, and your ability to adapt to the changes is what will set you apart from others. In my childhood days, conquering the world seem a lot less daunting than it is today. You are living in a world where there are a myriad of social issues affecting your daily lives. Crime is rampant and your well-being is being threatened. But you are also living in a world that is filled with possibilities and opportunities. Who would have thought that artificial intelligence would have played such a tremendous role in our lives today? For some, Alexa and Siri are their buddies. You want to get the answer to something? Ask Alexa, ask Siri. Google is next to God, and Google Maps and Waze keeps us on track. Netflix now recommends movies that we may like. Facebook and Instagram prevents us from becoming bored. And WhatsApp keeps us connected with our loved ones in every corner of the world. Just imagine, artificial intelligence can now even do your homework. Right, I know I wasn't supposed to tell you that, right? But you're going to find out very soon. Your generation is being, becoming so dependent on it that many are losing their ability to think critically. So as you get older and you decide, I'm going to ask AI to do my assignment for me, just remember it's taking away your ability to think, to problem solve, to think critically. It therefore begs the question, are you going to conquer the world or are you going to allow AI to conquer the world for you? The answer, only you could decide upon. Have you ever wondered what your future may look like if you work relentlessly to achieve your goal? Maybe one of you may be the next Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, or Greta Thunberg, a young teenage environmentalist who gained recognition for her efforts to combat climate change in her quest to ensure a more sustainable world. Just imagine what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. The world is yours to conquer. Just get up and go. In a world where it is easy to lose sight of what is important and what matters, 
remember to stay grounded in your belief. I believe someone spoke about that earlier. Keep integrity and honesty foremost in all that you do. Your legacy will be shaped not only by your accomplishment, but also by the way you achieve it. While creating a better world for yourself, remember to leave positive imprints along the way. Look for the right way to conquer the world, not the easy way. Conquer the world not by force, but with the strength of your dream, the power of your perseverance, and the depth of your compassion. Uphold the highest standards of honesty and ethical behavior as you strive to conquer the world. You know, I always tell our children, I taught them two little sayings. Do the right thing, because it's the right thing to do. And do the right thing even when no one is looking, because there is that one person who always sees everything we do. Who is that? God, very good. Setbacks and challenges will come your way. Failure may be your companion at times, but always keep your goal foremost in your mind. At these times, it is important to stay focused on what is important. Re-strategize and reroute. Try something different. Be resilient in the face of adversity and hardship, like the oyster. Do you know how pearls are formed? That pearl that women love so much, that's so expensive. Well, oysters live on the ocean floor. And occasionally, a tiny grain of sand will enter the shell, causing irritation. How does the pearl respond to this irritation? Instead of pushing out the irritant, that's the grain of sand, the oyster begins to coat it with layers of a smooth substance. Over time, the layers build up and what was once an irritating grain of sand becomes a lustrous, beautiful pearl. The oyster, therefore, teaching us, teaches us that when we face challenges, instead of becoming discouraged and irritated, we should work to transform that challenge into something positive and valuable. Perseverance, hard work, are the keys to overcoming obstacles and achieving success. As you conquer the world, remember the value of giving back. Your actions, regardless of how small, can create ripples of positive change. By lifting others, you contribute to a better, more compassionate world. <clears throat> Your parents and teachers would have given you countless lessons on how to be a good human being. Remember them and let those values guide your journey. With integrity as your compass, resilience as your armor, you can navigate the world and conquer the challenges while never losing sight of the values that will guide you on the path to success. This school and your parents would have played a pivotal role in shaping you into the person you are today. You, the parents, were the first ones to encourage your children to try new things, to explore interests, and to work hard to achieve success. Don't stop now. In fact, your journey with them has only now truly started. Provide opportunities for them to discover new interests and their passions, whether it is educational or otherwise. Be mindful that there are other more relevant professions in today's world. Gone are the days when the only worthy professions were medicine, engineering, and law. Encourage them to dream big and work hard to achieve success. For them, the sky is literally the limit. Teach them how to handle setbacks and failures constructively. Help them to understand that challenges are opportunities for growth, and that by adhering to the values embedded in their lives, their quest to conquer the world will be guided by a strong moral compass, therefore helping them to achieve meaningful success. Inculcate in them a love for learning and stay engaged in their lives. You are the ones still in control. 
Most importantly, be the role models that they choose. Demonstrate values like hard work, integrity, honesty, empathy, and respect in everything you do as a parent. Be mindful that children learn by observing you. Your value system will influence their actions and attitudes as they journey through their lives. To the principal and staff of this institution, Mr. Adish, I don't know if I ever told you this, but my elder daughter began her journey, her primary education at El Dorado South Hindu. Did I ever tell you that? Okay. So my affiliation with this institution began before you. Right. Um, unfortunately, at the standard tree level, she went to Gandhi with me. That's understandable, right? It was easier for me. <laughs> I'm therefore privy to the powerful impact that this school places on all-round development of your students. You have done your work with this cohort, and I'm sure that you have paved the way for a bright future for them by teaching them important life skills, which will help them to develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills. You have given them the start that they so need to go out into the world and conquer it. Kudos to you. Continue making a difference in the lives of our nation's children. By now, dear graduates, I hope you would have gotten some of the answers to some of those questions I asked in the beginning. Did you? What does conquering the world mean to me? Is it making money? No. Anybody want to tell me what it is? I know you all are a bit shy today. It happens in school with us too. So achieving your aspirations and making a positive impact in the world, that is what you should be striving for. Overcoming obstacles and following your dreams. You know, I can use an example, you all will, may not know this, but when Mr. Rudish, Mr. Allen, started teaching at Gandhi, he worked there for about two years, four years. He was a real prankster. Did you all know that? Did you all, did, did you all realize that? He was a prankster at school. He would hide in big boxes and wait for me to come into the office and jump out and try to scare me. Right? I don't think much has changed over the years. But he had a dream. His dream was to go to India and to become a dancer. Not just Bollywood, right? classical dancing but he faced some challenges challenges like financial and otherwise he had a family here his parents who needed him and he fought against all odds and he accomplished his dreams how many years did you spend there he spent five years in india pursuing his dreams ensuring that he conquered his world. So to that, you have an excellent example in front of you. So try to be like Mr. Rudish, right? Never stop learning. How do you plan to overcome obstacles and setbacks? Are you going to give up? So let's say the results come out and you don't do as well as you hope for. Are you going to allow that to guide you, to make you feel as though you are a failure? No, you are going to get up and you are going to wear those boots again and you are going to go back out and you are going to fight whether you choose to rewrite the exam or go forward where you are and just change the course of where you were. Never give up. Who are going to be your role models? That one is easy. Your parents, teachers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, all positive role models. And what legacy do you want? What do you want people to remember? What do you want El Dorado Hindu to remember about you? Huh? You might be a kindness, your compassion, maybe the work that you did, the hard work, your dedication, perseverance, all of that. So as you go through life, Remember, conquering the world does not mean 
making lots of money and becoming better than everyone else. It's simply becoming the best version of who you are. As I close, I want you to remember that the world is indeed yours to conquer, but it is also yours to cherish, nurture, and improve. You must have understood by now that it is through education that you will gain the knowledge that will shape your future and the future of those around you. Embrace your potential, stay true to your values, and strive for greatness. Carry with you the confidence to explore, the courage to take risks, and the commitment to make a positive impact. The world is waiting for your brilliance, and I have no doubt that each of you will conquer it in your own way. The pearls you seek are out there, waiting to be discovered by you. Congratulations, class of 2024. Go conquer the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss. And I'll now call on Miss Yashodra Singh for a vote of thanks. Thank you, Ms. Neela. I stand on all existing protocols. Sitaram and a warm and cordial good day to all. As Ms. Neela mentioned, my name is Ms. Sudra Savi Singh, a teacher at this noble institution, the El Dorado South Hindu School. I am honored and humbled to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of the principal, Pandit Adit Maharaj, Acting Vice Principal, Ms. Neela Dial Ramdas, Acting Head of Department, Ms. Nandi James, all members of staff, and the graduating class of 2024. To our honorable keynote speaker, Ms. Keshmini Daniram Gosain, Principal of the Gandhi Memorial Vedic School. Firstly, let me extend a hearty thank you for promptly accepting our request to be the keynote speaker at today's graduation ceremony. We are grateful to you for taking time away from your busy schedule to grace us with your presence. As a principal, I am sure you feel right at home speaking to our dear graduates on this very important milestone in their lives. Today, we are all very grateful to have the opportunity to hear your words of wisdom as you truly spoke from the heart. Your deep and intellectual way of imparting knowledge has added to the glory of this event. Each and every one of the graduates present here was joyfully engaged by you. They received so many great advice that I am sure will help them traverse their lives as students and indeed shape them into productive adults. Some of your insightful messages were, the world is an oyster. Each one of you are like pearls, you must overcome all obstacles that may come in your way and become the best you can be. You need to set goals. Don't forget the people who support you. Children balance humility with achievement. Work relentlessly to achieve your goals. Look for the right way to conquer the world, not the easy way. Do the right thing because it is the right thing to do. Do the right thing even when no one is looking. Let your values guide you on the path to success. Your confidence on stage is admirable and you have a gift for connecting with your audience. There is truly no words to offer gratitude to your valuable contribution as our featured speaker. 
I want you to know that we appreciate your tremendous efforts to motivate and inspire our dear graduates. Your passion for this profession really shined through in your delivery, making your contribution not only informative, but very interesting. Let me end by once again expressing our sincere gratitude to you, Madam Principal, for your eloquent speech as today's featured speaker. It has remained a pronounced pleasure, and for this, we thank you. I will now call on Ms. Neela Dial Ramdas to make a presentation to our keynote speaker. Thank you, Miss. Um, at this point, I will now like to call on the following individuals. Can you kindly come to the stage? Mr. Deo Nanan. Pandit Avinash Kisun, Mrs. Mr. and Ms. Mrs. Ragbear, Ms. Katwa Ar Arista Kat Katwaru, and Mr. Rohan Rampasad. As, as these individuals are receiving their prizes, special prizes. I will now explain to you. You will see familiar faces and these individuals would have helped us throughout our Balvikas training and success. So this year, Balvikas 2024, our results were Quite outstanding, Bhajan third, Ramayan fourth, instrumental third, folk eighth, and classical fourth. This, however, could not have happened without the training and support from some of our very special musicians. So we would have had Pandit Avinash Kisun, Miss Katwaru, Mr. And Mrs. Ragbear, who would have lent their support, come in and helping us. They would have spent a lot of time, energy, and dedication, expertise to bring for us such success in Balvikas. Right, give them a give them a loud round of applause. All you know why. Yeah. Okay. So. Sir, thank you for all your support in the training of the children for the March Pass, and we will see what will happen on, on Friday. Right. Right, Mr. Arista Katwaru, kindly accept this little token of our, of our love and appreciation for all that you ha have done for us. A loud round of applause for all who helped us in Balvikas to bring us to the success. Overall, by the way, we came seventh, and that was a, a, a huge achievement. So, right, and that was seven out of 43 schools, 43 schools, yeah? So we did excellent, good. So now, I want to make a special presentation. So I will call on Mrs. Rambali Durham Putney of Pundit Rambali. And she's always gracing us with her presence. So Miss Christina will will present a little token of our love and appreciation for her being here today. Thank you. So at this point, our principal, Pandit Adesh Maharaj, will continue with some other very special awards. Now I know it has been long, but there are certain things that you have to do at a graduation ceremony that you cannot leave out. And this is your day and everybody 
would have taken time to come and spend it with you and to make it as special as it is. Our last uh, bit of awards this evening is what we will call is um, dedicated to individuals who would have served El Dorado South Hindu School over the years. And I'm talking about for more than seven years. These parents have no longer have children at our school. This will be their last rodeo as it were. But while everybody contributes to El Dorado South Hindu School, there are certain individuals who go way beyond to ensure that the institution is successful. And so at this year's graduation ceremony, we would like to highlight and honor three parents, three groups of parents, I should say, for their sterling contribution to the upliftment of El Dorado South Hindu School. Parents whom I do not have to ask any questions but will volunteer their help at any time, any day, Sunday, midnight, 11 o'clock in the night. Once you call, they are there to help and assist. And so today, I would, we would like on behalf of the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha and the PTA, the parents and the new children because these are parents who would have contributed in so many ways to ensure that school was never once shut down. You know, El Rado South Hindu School don't close for anything, right? So, this evening it is my honor and I would ask Pandit Krishna Rambali as a representative of the Mahasabha to present to these parents a small token of our appreciation as we honor them. Firstly, Mr. and Mrs. Rabindra and Leela Maharaj. Could you please come forward for their sterling contributions to the El Rado South Hindu School over the years. They have spent seven and seven, 14 plus years as parents of the El Rado South Hindu School. I was the teacher of the elder son who is here today. He went, I was his standard five teacher in the 1990s, right? And then I became the principal of their daughter. And so I asked the President General. These parents, they were, you know when somebody say I'm just a phone call away, that was true. I have a break a trip 10 o'clock in the night, they are there to fix it, making sure I had school the next day. 11 o'clock in the night, I will get a call from the guard, we have somebody outside waiting to go and fix the break in the computer room or somewhere or to change a light bulb. But I wasn't, I'm not too sure who really was the electrician, if it was the husband or the wife. <laughs> I wasn't too sure. Because whenever I saw the husband, I saw the wife. And while he was, he was the one who was doing the work, she was the one directing. So I wasn't too sure who was the electrician there. So today we would like to thank these parents especially for making sure that El Rado South Hindu School always had electricity and we were never once out of... Um, lights. So Mr. Alvin Babulal and Mrs. Anita Bridgelal. And why we wish we could thank and honor all our parents because many parents would have contributed in so many ways. We thank all of you. Some of you still have children in my school so there is still time. And everything that you are seeing on stage here, screen, stage and everything, is their contribution to you and your program today. <laughs> These parents, finally, final presentation. 
I can't give thanks enough for again for every time I would call upon them, especially the wife, to sing and to assist me with anything concerning our pujas and so on. She is there. And so today we'd like to honor Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy and Sri Devi Netram. I thank all of you who would have contributed to El Radha South Hindu School to ensure that this institution continues to be very successful. Jimmy's and, Jimmy and Sri Devi's second graduation and final graduation at our school. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pandit Rambali. I now hand you over to Ms. Neela. As we draw closer to the end of our graduation proceedings today, I wish to express my sincerest gratitude to all individuals who made this function possible and a success that it turned out to be today. I thank firstly all the speakers today. Special thanks to all of you and for all the wonderful messages that you brought for our children. Special thanks to all our performers who did a wonderful job at entertaining us in song, music, and dance. Thanks to all parents for your unwavering support for all those who assisted in one way or the other, caterers, PA, LED screens, decorations, all of those who assisted in arranging the hall. Much thanks to all the parents. Um, I just want to call one, one, forgive me, but um, much thanks to Mr. Jason Williams, who gave us the access to use this hall today. It's been the second year running, and we are hoping for the best next year. So I, I do thank you, sir. I want to thank all members of the teaching and ancillary staff for their dedication and commitment in making this day a success for all our students and for our school. Thanks to all the especially invited guests. Your presence was deeply your presence was deeply appreciated. To our principal, so special thanks to you for guiding us, your staff, in reaching for the high standards that we set for ourselves. Thank you, sir. In closing, I want to once again, I want to congratulate all the students of the graduating class 2024. To you, our wonderful graduates, go confidently towards your dreams and make them happen for you. Believe in yourself, recognize your magic, live the life you imagined, and always remember the world is yours to conquer. And now you understand what that means, right? So with that, I want to invite Ms. Rihanna Bandu for the closing prayer. She will lead us. Sister Ram, everyone, all protocols observed. As we bring the curtains down on this year's graduation ceremony, I invite you all to stand as we put our hands together and offer our gratitude through prayer for a successful day's event. Hey, Shanta Garam Buja Gesheram Padmanabam Surisham Vishwanaram Gagana Sad Grisham Megavadinam Shubhangam Lachmi Gantam 
கமலநயனம் யோகி வழியானகம்யம் வந்தே விஷ்ணு பவவரணம் சரவருகைகைநாதம் ஓம் சாதி 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 I will now invite each and every one of you to remain standing as we have the recession of the graduates.